Hello everybody, welcome to Daily Entomologist and to start out with this video, I'm back out in the grasslands and going to check on the pitfall traps once again. Well, this isn't a good sign. Uh, my first pitfall trap I looked, came to and it's all destroyed. This was the uh, location of it. It's really unfortunate too. There's a couple eating up prionids in there as well. And there's the cups. Um, yeah, that's uh, that really sucks. Um, I guess. Uh, just uh, set them aside for right now and then when I'm done picking up the or going through the rest of the traps I'll come back and uh, reset this one that's really unfortunate with those with those as well dang it um, well that's not a good start let's see what the second one has to offer all right the second trap cups in place there's no cover uh, but there is stuff in there uh, so yeah at least it's not destroyed so I'll get these situated and the cover flew off so I have to reset the cover again but oh well there's some live stuff in there too you can see it moving there but uh yeah i'll get back to it well so far i gotta say i'm actually kind of disappointed in the collection so far uh but this one appears to be the best one so far. Some nice, uh, nice forests. Looks like we got a prionid right there. Some brown beetles. Um. It's weird because every single trap has been completely dry and which uh, all the other times there's usually always been at least some uh, preservative left in the cup but but uh, this time there's like nothing so I don't know if it's the really hot temperatures lately or probably that mixed with the wind out here but I don't know I mean don't get me wrong there's some getting some uh, good specimens just not as many as I was thinking like I did the first half of the month but oh well we'll see what the last few uh, give us all right so been uh, started to uh, repair some specimens that I found that were uh, broken. We had some uh, dragonflies that had the uh, abdomen broken off. Um, so basically, they gotta fit some. So I got glue and I got pins. And uh, basically just glue the abdomens back on and use the pins to help uh, hold them up. I've been uh, re, uh, reorganizing my collection and uh, really making some changes to it, which will be in a future video, probably a couple uh, months from now. But making progress and in that progress I'm going through my specimens and 
fixing the broken ones that need fixing. So just gonna get these uh, set up, fits together, and I'll show you the end result. All right, so it was a pretty quick, easy job. I'm just gonna let them uh, sit and uh, let the glue dry. And then this evening or tomorrow, I'll put them away. So this one's a little crooked, but so is that one. This one turned out great. Um, so all in all, they'll be just fine, I think. So yeah. I also noticed in a few things I have a at least one praying mantis that I have to fix as well. And a couple I have to re-glue on some points. But I don't have to I won't worry about getting all that stuff on camera. If it'll just uh show you this since it's what I had to do to with my collection. Uh so yeah. All right, so this video is going to be a long time in the making. Uh, basically, it's going to be a transformation of my collection. And this is uh, pretty much the before uh, part. Um, it seemed kind of just hodgepodge of boxes and everything filled with stuff and uh within the next uh months and hopefully hopefully by this fall um my collection will be updated and all that type of stuff um so you see got a corner of the hill drawers there there I got some wooden boxes there, some of uh, those white field pinning boxes, um, a couple things right there on my desk, um, and I got these uh, all full of stuff as well. Um, I got a butterfly there I need to repair. Uh, so basically it's a mess. Um, but now I've started to reorganize and actually make my collection look like a collection. Um, so the next part of this uh, video will be the uh, finished product and I'll be uh, doing a uh, collection video of as well since it's been a long time since I did my a uh, full collection video um uh that was actually my very first video was here on the daily entomologist youtube channel where it was my collection video um so when all this is uh done I'll show you the finished product of my updated collection and we'll go through the collection for an updated collection video as well. So stay tuned for that, although that'll be quite a bit further on down the road. Um, so yeah, just figured I'd let you guys uh, know now and uh, Hopefully it'll turn out nice. And uh, this part of the video, as you can see, back out of uh, black lighting. Uh, I literally just set this up about two minutes ago and 
already have a couple of things flying in but uh hopefully we'll have a decent night uh the moon is out tonight um and it's kind of hazy i think there's a wildfire smoke moving in so that's kind of unfortunate but oh well i have all that set up and my camera all that stuff and i got myself some uh culvers right here that i'm going to enjoy and yeah so obviously i'll be doing uh updates here throughout the night and seeing what we get well the light <coughs> excuse me the light has been on for a half hour now or so i've eaten my culvers and um actually off to a pretty quick start um a lot of smaller uh, caddis flies there as you can see got some nice moths coming in um i think it's a western tent caterpillar moth <clears throat> Uh, so this is what's in the uh, alcohol so far. Um, we got a couple moths so far. Some beetles. Uh, some a couple tiger beetles. Beetles actually. Um, yes, uh, some tiger beetle species are attracted to black light. Um, and, uh, antlion right there. Um, we got some uh, wasps in there. Uh, so yeah. Small start, but decent start for the alcohol container there. moth right there so yeah pretty quick start as you can see mostly just small stuff but some good stuff oh we got another got another uh, moth just landed in the alcohol there we got a pretty cool moth right here I'll try and get that one in the alcohol here after I'm done with the little update. Uh, so yeah. Hopefully the night will just keep on doing better. Alright, so really nothing big came to the light tonight. But did get a, quite a bit of stuff. A lot of smaller species. Especially smaller moths. And, uh... This is uh, pretty much everything that uh, I collected tonight. First, now before I leave, I have to take everything out, which I think is going to be a tedious process. So we got a good assortment of moths, beetles, wasps, got an ant lion in there. Pretty good variety of stuff. Obviously tomorrow when I pin them, we'll get a 
better look at everything. Um, so yeah, nothing too showy tonight, but uh, good numbers overall. Uh, so yeah, I think a uh, short section of the video for black lighting, but I was happy I was able to get out. Got the moon shining up there. Uh, so yeah, tomorrow I'll sort through everything and I'll show you everything that I collected and once it all dried off. Alright, so... Got everything that I uh, collected during black lighting all pinned out. Um, here are the non-Lepidoptera. So you got some beetles right there. I got a few couple of tiger beetles. Some bugs right there. Some smaller beetles. And I was really happy with the. Uh, I believe these are uh, not uh, species, various species of nocturnal velvet ants. Um, so some sort of mutilids, I believe. And there's at least. I think there's three, maybe four species. From what I can tell. But I'm not familiar with nocturnal mutilid identification. But got a good, num uh, good number of those. I'll be going out here this next week as well. Of course, that'll be in a different video. I got uh, four small blocks of moths. Got uh, western tent caterpillars. more western tents those were pretty numerous throughout the night so you can see these were again collected in a alcohol container and uh, they all turned out really nice. I am quite pleased with the results. And uh, yeah. So now I'll be letting those dry out. Um, yeah, got everything from the pitfall traps I collected all pinned out as well. I'll actually, oops, go over it right Show you real quick. Uh, the same stuff, but oh, yeah. I think that's gonna end it.
for this video. Uh, so hopefully I'll get out and again this week a couple times and get some more uh, collecting videos stuff done. So comment, like, subscribe, whatever you would like to do. And I'll see you guys next time.